Hey y'all, it's Tony. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy 2018. It is January. Oh, my head was itching. January 28th. I honestly don't ever know what day it is anymore because it just kind of fly by. So, the first question is where what do you teach and where i teach kindergarten at a private school and how long have you been teaching this is my first year teaching i was a teacher assistant last year did you always know you wanted to be a teacher actually kind of yes and no because i've always wanted to be a designer um like fashion design because i went to school for fashion but um I've also always wanted to be a teacher too because I love children so it's really like two different ends of the spectrum but um but so you're probably thinking like okay you went to school for fashion why are you teaching kindergarten well because through the process of certification you can be certified into different subjects so that's what I did I still kind of sew and design and do things in my own spare time if I have spare time but I felt like God was pulling me into teaching. For what was you, what is your typical teacher OOTD? Honestly, like a loose T or something that has like um, like bell sleeves. I love bell sleeves. I love them. Um, usually I'll have like a loose top and maybe fitted pants. And that's kind of basically my outfit. Unless I wear a dress. And if I wear a dress, it's a swing dress. Like what I'm wearing right now, which I'm super in love with. Wait, hold on. Let me show you my dress. Basically, if I wear a dress, it'll be like this because I have this dress in six colors. Kind of obsessed with this style of dress. It's from Old Navy, and they are still selling them online. I bought a lot of mine from Poshmark, though, so you can get them either or. <clears throat> what do you usually bring for lunch? So I've tried to get myself into the habit of meal prepping so that I'll cook on maybe Saturday or Sunday and whatever I make I'll eat it for the whole school week so Monday through Friday sometimes Saturday if I have some leftover or either I'll double up on one day and eat like two of my meals so that I finish them by Friday um, and I found that meal prepping is so helpful let me tell you okay because I I don't cook every day and that's basically what it is and I have this lunch kit that I bought from Walmart it's from packet and you put the whole thing it collapses you stick it in the freezer and then you take it out it's you know it's frozen so it's basically like having an ice pack all around let's see what is one of your favorite books about teaching I don't really have like a favorite book about teaching I haven't really read that many so the one that I do have the one book that I do have that has to do with teaching is this one yeah, the first days of school how to be an effective teacher and this book was recommended to me by um, a friend of mine at church who is also a teacher she recommended this to me and so I've read like a little bit of it like I re I'm trying to you know get back to devoting time to reading but it's just like my mind is like 10,000 places at once but this is a, a pretty good book so far like I've read a good some good things out of here that I've been able to like implement in my classroom Okay, what is one of your favorite teacher movies? Who is your favorite teacher? I think my favorite teacher, you know, I'll do it like in each, in each um, form of school. For elementary or primary, uh, my favorite teacher was in fifth grade. Um, she made, I don't know, she was just a really kind person and I just, she was my favorite teacher. My teachers were all pretty nice in middle school. Um, in high school, my Spanish teacher was my favorite teacher. He was the best teacher. I remember all the games that we played till this day and it's just like remembering that time, it's, it's really like, it, it makes me happy because it was a, high school was kind of awkward slash I didn't really know who I was so 
like just having a good memory like of like academically was it was it was really great but he passed like seven years ago and I don't know, like all of us came together on Facebook, you know, we were talking about like different stories about him, like everyone who had been in his class, and it was, it was great to like see those different things, like I just remember all the games, like there's one that we played called um, um, Correra de Pizarra, which is like run to the board, um, and then he had this other game where we would like hit the board, he would say the word in Spanish, or he would say the word in English, then we'd have to find the word on the board in Spanish and like hit it with a fly swatter. And I remember that one, that one too was like my favorite. In college, my favorite teacher was my... She was like three teachers. Um, it was special topics. Um, then she was also my... Was she my... No, she was my sketching teacher. It was special topics, which is basically like um, my portfolio teacher as well. So special topics and then um, portfolio. And like, I'm still in contact with her. I haven't talked to her since I think a year ago, but I need to go and visit her. Um, but yeah, she's awesome. And I would like go and see her at the school because she was a really awesome teacher and very kind. And I always loved her accent, like just to hear her speak because she's like from Europe. But anyway, she, she's really awesome. Who are some of your favorite teacher YouTubers slash Instagrammers slash Snapchatters ETC? I don't have Snapchat. I don't get what the hype is about Snapchat, honestly. Like, the teacher YouTubers. I like Michelle Ferre, Pocketful of Primary. I've been watching her for about mm, a year. So Pocketful of Primary. Um, oh gosh. I have to go and look at them because they're all in here. Oh, actually, like, too cool for middle school, too. I really, I like her videos as well. I also like that she's a believer, you know, Christian, so. And her Black History Month video was very informative. It was about um, Rosa Parks. It felt like I was in one of her classes, so I was, re I really enjoyed that one. What is one of your best classroom management tips? <sighs> Honestly, I'm still working on classroom management, but what I do is that I have, like, something that I've been telling my kids, which I call them my kids, but my students, from the beginning of the year, we do this. It's like quiet mouths, listening ears, and attentive eyes. So attentive eyes was a new one I just taught them, but I have them tell me. So I'll say, I need quiet mouths, and then they'll say listening ears, or attentive eyes, like they'll say all three. So it's just something like I have them repeat it back to me so that, you know, it's like they have to focus on what I'm saying. Or I'll be like, if you can hear me, put your finger on your nose. If you can hear me, close your eyes. If you can hear me, close your mouth. You know, like that. Levin, this is the last question. What is one reason you decided to become a teacher? Um, my main, my first reason is that I love children. Like, I work with children at my church, and I have for like years. So I think a natural progression for me was to become a teacher. But then I also feel like God was leading me to become a teacher. So. Again, I just, I was following God's lead on this, and I just, you know, I went for it, stepped out on faith, or stepped out in faith, in faith, on faith. There was faith, so I stepped out. I'll see y'all in another video. Thank y'all so much for watching.